Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We've got an absolute treat for you today. We have the Dark Imperium set with both sides, Nurgle and Ultrains for you guys to check out. Uh, if you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then firstly welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 30 painters who all paint from our bronze minimum standard above tabletop level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Uh, if you are interested in a quote with us here at Siege for a character, small force or vast army, all you need to do very simply is head to our website which is linked in the description of this video where it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to the siege studios website and our contact form all you need to do very simply once you are there is complete the contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options from those that are available for your project and requirements and then in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown on the website fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome awesome starter set in more detail see you guys back shortly so first up from this Dark Imperium commission, let's have a look at the ultramarine portion of the force. Um, we've got uh, various models in the army. If you're unfamiliar with Dark Imperium, it is the 40K Games Workshop starter set. Um, it does include a variation of models. You have four characters. Uh, they comprise of a Gravis Captain, two Lieutenants, and also an Ancient with the banner. Uh, two squads of five-man intercessors, and then a five-man Hellblaster squad, and then we have three Inceptors at the back. Uh, so let's dive in and have a look. We'll start with the main man himself, the Gravis Captain, a really, really cool model. As these, all these models have been painted by Fletcher for this commission, so you'll see everything that's been done by him. Uh, but lovely attention to detail here on these Ultramarines. So you've got obviously the glowing power runes there on the power sword, uh, little glints and nicks on the sword there. Um, all the li little details and everything are fully painted as well in a lovely, lovely, super pristine fashion with all the edging done to a lovely standard as well. Uh, you can see all the transfers and everything added onto these uh, as well. Lovely complimentary red cape to the blue, which is really nice. And all the gold has been highlighted through various areas as well uh, so that's just the Gravis captain there as you can see Paul Ford probably my favorite model from the Dark Imperium set which is this lieutenant with the sword I absolutely love this from the moment I saw it and the pose and everything uh, but you can see again a lovely pristine fashion and pristine finish on all of these models uh, every little detail and everything fully painted fully highlighted uh, there in a very very concentric finish uh, again the transfers and everything added and he's got the lieutenant stripes there on his helmet as well plus obviously lieutenant transfers on the other shoulder pad little gems and things like on the sword are all painted as well with point of light source catch light and also multiple blends on those gems as well uh, so that's just that lieutenant uh, next lieutenant that has obviously a, a uh, bolt a stalker bolter or a bolter rifle which is really really cool Again, his helmet there has got the uh, the markings on it, as you can see as well, they denote him as a lieutenant, uh, bounding forward there. Incidentally, the basing on this whole entire project is done in like an industrial theme, so you've got loads of industrial parts, cogs and things all over the bases. Uh, but you can see all the skin tones and everything were done there, eyes, teeth and everything fully painted and fully put on the models. Uh, the gold again, obviously painted in a lovely fashion with some highlighting done there. Little screens and all those bits of detail there, as you can see, are all painted as well. Uh, all the little buttons as well, just to really finish off those models. Uh, and that's the other lieutenant. And then we'll pull forward the Ancient from the Force, so you can see him. Again, a lovely, lovely stoic model. Uh, all the little details, like the little lights and buttons are all painted there, as you can see. All the text and everything on the banner, done in a lovely fashion. Little Aquilas and things done there on those uh, separate parts of the of the banner. And also Ultramarines free-handed across there as well. Uh, but that's just the Ancient, obviously, with a white helmet denoting him as that mark. And also, he's all his transfers done there with the Ancient transfer done on his shoulder pad as well. Then let's have a look at some of the generic rank and file. So the intercessors, again, really, really cool model. These are the snap fit together ones that come in, obviously, Dark Imperium, uh, but very, very cool poses. Obviously, this guy's bounding forward here. Again, all the details and everything fully painted, and you can see the lovely sharp edge highlighting that's been done throughout all the areas of armor paneling on this Marine as well. We'll look at one of the sergeants from that five-man unit. So that's just him. You can see, again, all the facial details all painted, the eyes, the teeth, the tongue, and everything all done. Again, the red helmet on him just to note him as a sergeant, sergeant's transfers, and then you can see every edge highlight all done in a very sharp, concentric fashion from model to model. Uh, even the little lenses on top of the guns are all painted with point of light source, catch light, and also blooms on them as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, probably one of my favourite poses from the generic uh, Intercessor Marines is this dude that obviously looks like he's moving forward, advancing and firing. Uh, very, very uh, ominous look. He wouldn't be on, want to be on the wrong end of that. Uh, but a really, really cool model. Um, just that sort of aiming shot as he's moving forward, advancing, which is really cool. But again, you can see that same attention to detail and consistency. All the little lights and gems and all the different bits of like the little um, connector sockets on the armour are all painted as well. Uh, for example, just on that thigh plate there, you can see one. Uh, and all the lenses on the helmets all painted as well 
with multiple blends and point of light source as well. Um, we'll then move across to the other squad, Paul Ford, the sergeant from that unit as well. So you can see him again in a lovely, lovely advancing pose there. All the purity seals and everything done with text on them, as you can see. Uh, and again, all the little dials and buttons are fully painted. So that's just the other sergeant from this unit. Those lovely complementary green lenses to that red helmet as well. And then there's two of those same poses obviously within that unit and then we'll pull forward one of the other pose uh, incessors here you can see again all those areas of details fully painted the consistency from model to model so you could mix models from the right squad in with the left squad and they match perfectly and, and that's what you expect from us here at siege is a consistency across your force from model to model uh, and then behind those we have obviously the hell blasters which are the plasma versions of the generic rank and file infantry uh, and again you can see that lovely subtle plasma glow on the uh, plasma rifles there uh, in a lovely fashion uh, moving around again just to show you the consistency of all that edging done across all the different armor panels lovely subtle transition on the uh, on the tops of the models to the bottoms as well uh, and so it's darker blue to the lower portions on all the models as well which is really really cool and just that's a stylistic choice obviously for our client on these ones and then we'll pull forward the sergeant from the hell blasters here so you can see him with his bare head again all the eyes and everything picked out you've got the purity seal there with all the text done sergeant knee pad there marking and also the transfer again a lovely subtle glow on those plasma weapons there as you can see uh, and that's the hill blasters and then we will pull forward the inceptors which are this sort of jump infantry assault infantry from this and this is just the sergeant here again massive bulky inceptor armor there as you can see uh, again with this massive jump pack you can just see all the edges and everything fully painted in a lovely fashion uh, black gun casings on these as well uh, which is really really cool red sergeant helmet there with the complementary green lenses uh, and all the purity seals and everything fully painted with text and scripture on them as well there's a sergeant i will pull forward one of the generic uh, um, Inceptors, so you can have a look at him just so you can see him again just comparing to the sergeant but the same attention to detail from model to model uh, with every aspect having many hours lavished on it to put it to a very very lovely standard uh, and that's just one of the other inceptors that we have on this force so you've seen all the good guys and you've seen the lovely lovely you know pristine ultramarines of this force next up we're going to have a look at the dirty insidious nurgle and they're up shortly stick around it's about to get disgusting so next up, let's have a look at all the Nurgle filth from this Dark Imperium box set commission. Uh, loads of really cool models. Uh, we have a Lord of Contagion, a Noxious Blightbringer, a Malignant Plague Caster, seven Plague Marines, uh, a Blight Drone, and then a Horde of Poxwalkers. Uh, really, really cool selection of very detailed, intricate models to have a look at uh, over the next couple of minutes or so. Let's start with the leader of this uh, Putrid Horde, and we have the... Uh, the uh, Lord of Contagion, he forgot then. <laughs> but Lord of Contagion to lead this force. Uh, and Fletcher's done a stellar job picking out all the intricate little details on him, as you can see. Love the blue etheric flames coming off of various areas of him as well. Um, and I absolutely love this massive, massive sort of axe with like a sort of cogged, chained kind of teeth area as well. Uh, again, he's just stepping on some little uh, grunts there, as you can see. Uh, just some nurglings. And then moving around, round, you can see the lovely complementary sort of pinkish, mauvish kind of colour to the cloth work on the back to complement the greens uh, of the armor uh, but all the bone work and everything fully picked out as well the little catch lights on the flames as well all the metal work painted and highlighted through various stages same with the gold and also the brass areas on this model as well but a beautifully finished model uh, to lead this disgusting horde uh, so then next up let's have a look at the noxious blight bringer uh, really detailed model again uh, with his little friend there ringing his own little bell uh, subtle little plasma glow on that plasma pistol as well which is lovely uh, and a very cool complementary sort of white kind of cloth work to the armor just to distinguish that cloth work there on him as well all the horns and everything picked out with multiple colors as well in a lovely fashion you got all the mutated sort of skin rupturing from the armor in a very sort of crimson kind of color as well looks very sore uh, but overall a lovely finish to this character as well uh, and his little friend that's just hanging along for a ride even his little eye all picked out there as you can see but all the gold work and all the brass and everything all painted through various stages of highlighting as well so that's just him then we'll have a look at the malignant plague caster again a another really cool uh, model emitting this uh, sort of torrent of uh, of like plague with 
flies flying around it there, as you can see, uh, but a really, really cool sculpt with lots of intricate little details. His stomach is obviously all rupturing from its armor there, as you can see. Um, that's all been painted in a lovely fashion with loads of highlighting and detail work all done. Uh, and then we move around the back, you can see again, all that sort of skin and stuff that's rupturing from the armor. You've got little eyes and things all sort of on the uh, ruptured flesh as well, which is cool. Um, you've got all these tassels and cloth work that are just coming out the back of him as well. Uh, but lovely tonal variation on the model as well. So that's just him. And that's one of the other characters from the force. Then we'll have a look at the scattering of plague marines through the force. Uh, again, really, really cool. Each one is very unique and distinct as well, which is uh, how they would be after you know all the decades of, um, of war and fighting that they've been doing and obviously in the Eye of Terror. Uh, so that's just this plague marine here. You can see all the rusted areas of armor and all the brass work and everything done in a lovely fashion. Lovely complementary colors on this as well. And also you've got all the brown work on the leather work as well, which is lovely. But the uh, lenses are there picked out in a red to complement the green of the armor. I've got those rust streaks and everything there on the top of the uh, backpack as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, and again, all the metal work painted in a very sort of decayed and old kind of style as well. Uh, so that's just one of the Plague Marines. We'll pull forward the plasma gun wielding Plague Marine, because again, I really like this sculpt. And also the model we've got that lovely, lovely red kind of plasma glow. Uh, and you've got that sort of like a tentacle kind of hands just gripping onto the plasma gun as well, which is really lovely. I do really like the chain mail that's sculpted onto this model as well. It gives it a very kind of knightly kind of feel. Uh, and again, you've got that massive blade just on the back, it's all painted and highlighted there with all the leather work, metal, and uh, the sort of vein that's running down it as well, which is quite cool. Uh, again, little tentacles and things rupturing from the armor, but every aspect of detail fully painted, all the little gems and the lights and everything all painted in a stellar fashion. So that's just the plasma gun. Um, we'll pull forward a few more of the Plague Marines just so you can have a look at them, and I'll just run through them very quickly. But again, this guy is just advancing here really nicely. You've got some sort of pre heresy esque white kind of bone armor as well, just a little nod to um, their pre heresy color scheme as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll have a look at this other chap over here that's just advancing and firing this very uh, sort of ancient looking bolter as well with the, I love the belt feed on it as well. Just looks really, really cool. Uh, again, and you've got another one of those knives here, that great big vein just going down it. Uh, so that's just him. And you can see the accents of the white armor as well, which is really cool. That nod to uh, 30K kind of color scheme as well, which is really lovely. Uh, so that's just him. And then we'll pull forward, probably I think my favorite, I think it's the, uh, the, the champion from the unit as well with this massive power fist. Uh, as well as you can see it's absolutely mutated as hell little fly friend to follow him i love the little blue teal bit on the wings as well i think that's a lovely little touch uh, especially with a red eye on him as well just to complement and add attention to that detail on him massive power fist there with that lovely nurgle sort of symbol kind of thing uh, just bursting through the back and again all the little areas of details are fully done into a stellar fashion as well uh, so that's just the champion uh, and then we'll pull forward the big boy at the back which is the plague drone um really really cool model uh, that lovely lovely great big red lens on the front there with that lovely bloom of color and blending that's done on it point of light source catch light as well uh, you got all the dragging cables and things as well and veins and things we'll move around the back so you can see all the boils and pus and sort of pustules and things that are on there on that flesh work uh, but finished in a really really high standard and uh, a lovely finish to this overall model again you've got this white kind of bone-esque kind of armor color just that nod to that 30k kind of legion color scheme as well which is really cool as per our client request uh, so that's just this uh, big drone here. We'll put that back in the middle for you guys. And then let's have a look at the scattering of the pox walkers. Now, all of these are very detailed. There's obviously a various selection of sculpts throughout the force, uh, but let's have a look at some of them in a bit more detail close up for you guys to have a look at. I won't pull every single one forward because obviously there are 20, but just so you can see a couple of them in more detail. You've got this really cool dude here that's absolutely covered in maggots, which I think is hilarious, uh, but obviously all those individual little maggots all picked out. Lovely attention to detail on all the skin and cloth work and also on the uh, the overalls that he's got as well. Uh, weird bits of sort of, uh, sort of metal work protruding from his body as well, but all the weapons and all done in a very sort of uh, sort of old sort of damage kind of fashion as well uh, another pox walker here for you guys to check out again this guy's just bellowing there as you can see massive massive seems a very happy guy very great big grin on his face um, but loads and loads of boils and things all over him as well maggots and things that all been picked out and painted every aspect of detail done little maggot there on his back which is quite cool uh, he's got a great big sort of wrench in his hand as well which is uh, quite a cool little weapon so that's just him and then we'll pull forward the one that i think looks like a doctor a little bit um i probably wouldn't go see him myself but um but <laughs> you've got this guy 
Ireland's great big trench coat. Um, loads of cool details, obviously, all his stomach and guts are hanging out as well there, as, as you can see, and that massive tentacle arm. I love the fact you can see all the tentacles and sinew through the coat as well, which is a lovely, lovely bit of attention to detail that Fletcher's painted. Uh, you've got your big hammer that he's got here, it looks like an acme mallet, but um, so there's that. You've got maggots and things all over his back as well, but uh, really, really lovely attention to detail on all of these pox walkers. Uh, pull forward a few more, just so you can have a look at his one that's got a gun, uh, but as you can see, loads and loads of details all on him, all the bone work all done, all the flesh boils and skin, loads of tonal variation across the model just to really add interest to that withered and sort of uh, but sort of putrid kind of skin that he's got. Uh, all the goggles and things you can see all painted with little reflections on the little goggles as well, which is lovely. Um, and then we'll pull forward one or two more, just because there are 20 of them. I don't want to pull forward everyone, but you've got this guy here with a sort of like another mallet, um, just uh, tentacles erupting from his body there, as you can see. Um, and you've got a rebreather just dangling along, perhaps his ex-guard. Uh, and again, really, really cool details on this model, just all over, all the little straps, ammo pouches and things, uh, and all the boils and pustules on the skin. Uh, but every aspect of detail fully painted uh, and that is the pox walkers from the force guys we're back in a second to have a look at both sides of the dark imperium box next to each other again and if you are interested in a commission for a force character or small project then all you need to do is stick around and watch that section because it explains again how to take a commission without us here at siege see you guys back in a second to see the force in all its glory So there we have it guys, this awesome Fire Slayers warband. I know Keith had a phenomenal time working on these four awesome little character models. Really, really cool project, loads of detail on them and I know he had a good time. If you are interested in a warband, character, small force or vast army, then all you need to do very simply to get a quote from us here at Siege is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form and once you're there, select the relevant drop down options from those that are available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format fire that form off to us to hear back from us with a quote for your project uh, and get the process started while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor a couple of things obviously give the video a thumbs up that would help us massively subscribe to the channel and then hit the bell icon because you will be then notified of all the uploads that happen on our channel and also while in while you're in the description of the video what you can do is follow us or you know go look on facebook instagram or twitter as we have accounts on all of those uh, you can like and uh, follow us respectively on all of those and keep up to date with all the other things that we do here at siege Thank you for watching the video from the, all the team and myself. I really appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.